Welcome to another episode of the Sarah Scoop Show. I'm your host, Sarah Roman, here to give you the scoop. Hi everyone, and welcome back to another live episode of the Sarah Scoop Show. Today, we are going to be chatting with Chloe from Too Hot to Handle. So let me just give her a second. There she is. Hi! Hi, Hi, Chloe! How are you? Good, how are you? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Thank you for joining me today. Oh, you're welcome. I know we had a lot of people that were submitting questions for you. Everyone wants to know the scoop on Chloe, what you've been up to. So let's kick it back with how did Too Hot to Handle even come on your radar? To be honest, it was all a bit of a whirlwind because I wasn't like looking to go on a show. I've just always been like a crazy person. So it kind of come to me. Um, I got casted to go on it. And um, the process, the interview process was absolutely crazy because the sort of questions they were asking you, I was like, is this normal? (laughs) But I ended up um, going on and ever since, it's just been absolutely life changing. And how long did you know before you were going to go on? Was the process for, like, did you have time to prepare? that you knew what you were jumping into? Yeah, I mean, up until, I'd say, three weeks before I went on, it was a a 90% chance of me going on. So there was always that 10% of them thinking or them saying to me, "Mm, you've been dropped. So I was buying bikinis constantly. And I was like, (laughs) I hope they don't cancel on me because I've just bought all these bikinis. So many people, I like put up a thing like, what questions do you offer Chloe? And so many people were like, she was my favorite. So how did you just, how were you yourself? And like not, I mean, intimidated by like the whole process, all the cameras, everything. How did you stay just who you were? To be honest, so many people go into TV with a game plan and so many people come outside of the show that they've just been on and they're hated for but not even being themselves, pretending or trying to be someone else and trying to create a persona. And I just thought, do you know what? I'm just going to go in there. I'm going to be me. I'm going to be real. I'm going to say it how it is. And fingers crossed. So did you know about the money? This was another popular question I kept getting before it was told. Did I know about the money? What do you mean? Did I know? Like before Alana had announced it. That's what people were wondering. Um, no, I think bef- like before I went on the show, I didn't know yeah. anything. I didn't know uh-huh. what it was going to be called. I didn't know it was going to be on Netflix. It was literally, oh, you'd be perfect for this show. Come and film. And when I found out and I watched it back, it was because they thought that we were like, Express. <laughs> Netflix. Um, but yeah, no, we didn't know anything. Yeah, so you were like just surprised as we were watching it. Yeah. Um, so from your experience, like what was your favorite thing from being on the show? Favorite thing, oh, I would say finding a backbone when it comes to men. Like my whole life, I've been in relationships that have been either controlling or people just not treating me the way I'm meant to be treated. And I've just allowed that to happen. And when Corey wasn't straight up with me and he didn't tell me this isn't really what I want, um, because obviously we filmed, I think you only see one or two episodes when me and Corey were talking, but we were there a month and it was cut into eight episodes. So we were like, talking and whatever for like at least a week so there were feelings there and when he done that I was like do you know what I'm not gonna let you treat me like this and there's so many other girls that are gonna be watching me thinking Chloe just stand up for yourself because I'm such a nice person I'm like no I'm not gonna but I just thought you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna show every single girl out there that you deserve to be treated the right way and um yeah, I started a, a clothing range called Love Yourself Queens. And um, honestly, it was the best thing I've ever done because everyone absolutely loved it. Yeah, I love that. And I feel like that was such a good way to use that opportunity to help others in that way. So what advice do you have for 
girls out there, women that are struggling with being too nice or afraid to speak up for what they want? Um, to be honest, it's, oh, everyone's different. It's really hard to answer that question. I mean, for me, I, I don't know how to answer that. I think just know your worth. Mm -hmm. And that is so, when you hear someone say that, it's like, oh, someone else is saying know your worth how do I know my worth yeah. and it's like it comes it actually does because with me I've I've gone through stuff in my past and I didn't know my worth but then I started to surround myself with the right people and I started to kind of learn and understand that hang on a minute I am worth more than what I'm kind of bidding for here um and like even with men now I'm like right I know my worth and now it's harder to find a boyfriend because I'm like, <laughs> great, I've got this massive tick list. So I've shot myself right in the foot. But um, it does come, there's no, I can't give advice on that. Um, I wouldn't be able to say to a woman, do this and do that. Yeah. It's just about who you surround yourself with and not just stay positive and just talk to people. No, I think that's great advice too. And it's like, sometimes we get lost in that in everyday life and it's like, like you were showing on the show, you know, like you said, know your worth. Um, when it comes to where you stand with everyone that was on your season, do you still communicate with everyone or? Who yeah, was? I mean, we were such a close group. Um, obviously, some of us were closer than others, but I think that just happens in every situation. I mean, me and Nicole obviously are still best friends. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to talk about your video. Yeah, my YouTube video. Oh my gosh, I had so much fun like recording that with her. She was literally, you know, when you find someone and they are like just the same person as you. That is me and Nicole. Um, but yeah, so. So I where, to like, to, let's talk about that. So after the show, now you've started the YouTube channel, which is everyone should go watch your video. It was so fun. I finished it up and I was like, this is hilarious. Like you guys were so open and honest. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I mean, I said to Nicole, like, I don't really want to be doing a YouTube video where I'm sitting there just being boring and just, just do it. I don't want to do it for the sake of doing YouTube. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not really up to date with social media. I don't really know what I'm doing when it comes to YouTube. But I thought Instagram, I know what I want to use that platform for. I want to talk to girls and kind of help inspire them to, to mm -hmm. know their work and to, to love themselves and to know that Instagram can be a bit of a volatile place and it does kind of stem <laughs> insecurity issues. Um, but I mean, I try to be as real as possible on Instagram and with YouTube, I just want to be myself and I want to be funny and I don't <laughs> want to hold back with what I'm saying. Um, I think it is quite PG. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's just me. So yeah, go watch it. <laughs> yeah, so would we be expecting more of that from you? More videos and things like that? 100%. Yeah. So I saw some people were asking for your channel name, and it's just your name, right? Yeah, Chloe Beach. Yeah, so everyone, go check her out on YouTube. Um, so let's talk back to the show. How long, because I know a lot of reality shows might film, like, we don't see it for, like, a year later or something. How long was it since you filmed to where you were solid and you had to, like, keep the secrets and all of that? Say that again. Sorry, you cut out. I'm um, sorry. How long was it after you filmed before we actually all saw it that you were, like, keeping oh, the secret? I would say around a year. Wow. Yeah. yeah, see, so people probably see you and they think it's so fresh happening and you're like, that's a year ago. Yeah, literally. And I think, oh, it's absolutely mental because when you film something like that, when you come out, you're absolutely buzzing. You're like, oh my God, I've just filmed a show um, like for Netflix. And then the producers are like, oh, we'll let you know, like, like nearer to the time, editing's gonna take quite a while anyway. And we're like, yeah, that's fine. Like, we don't care. But we've just been on a Netflix show. And when I come out, I went back to waitressing and to doing part-time modeling. And I was honestly, like, towards, towards the end of the year, I was like, 
this is becoming a joke. I just want to watch it. By the time it had come out, I'd forgotten what happened. Was there anything that you wish they would have shown that we didn't get to see? To be honest, I think everything that was shown was what happened. It was just in like snippets. So we were there a month. So you literally see about eight episodes, half hour each. I don't, I'm not really good with maths. Yeah, so there's a lot we didn't get to see. There's what a lot we didn't get to see. What did you guys do? Like, I'm assuming you didn't have phones or anything like that. So when we're not seeing you, what what were you guys doing? Um, to be honest, I mean, we were literally just in the villa, just living life. Yeah. Um, I have a Sunday. It looks absolutely in. gorgeous. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I've put on so much weight since filming to be hard to handle, honestly. <laughs> But I, I was my slimmest when I was at two, when I was when I feel was too hot to handle. Um, but I'm glad I'm starting to put more weight on now because I was way too thin. But um, yeah, it feels like a lifetime ago that I filmed it. Yeah, because so when was it filmed then? Oh, um, oh, honestly, I'm, I don't, I'm not really good with months. But I would say when did it come out? Five months ago. About I think it was about five. Yeah. So yeah. Five it's Okay. 2020 so did you film in 2019 or 2018 i just turned i've just turned 20 when i started filming and i'm 21 now oh wow yeah so you yeah. are so young on the show too what do you have like what kind of advice hopefully you know there's a lot more seasons to come and i'm sure people were watching like i want to go on there what kind of advice do you have for those people that are applying Honestly, be yourself. Do not hold back. And if there's something you want to say, say it, because you're only going to regret it afterwards when you're watching it. Um, don't try and be someone you're not, because you will get caught out. Um, and just, it happens so quick. Like, when mm -hmm. I first got there, I knew I was there for a month. And I thought, I'm gonna be here for ages. And but it felt like an hour into it, I'd been there like literally two weeks. And the time goes so quick, just embrace every single second that you are on the show because you will love it. And we are getting some questions, but I don't, they're not in the comments. So I'm gonna pull up some of these and see if um, they have any that we wanna answer real quick. We kind of talked to, okay, a lot of people want to know if you speak multiple languages. <laughs> I don't speak multiple languages, no. I was like, maybe I missed that. Um, let's see. Okay, how did, you were commenting on this, but they don't know how you felt from the first day to the last day. Okay, so like how it changed me as a person. Mm -hmm. um, I would say... I went in there, obviously I'm still the same person, but my outlook on relationships is completely different. Um, and I'm not just saying that, like it actually is. So when I first went in there, I, I've i always had like barriers up when it comes to relationships. I've always thought, like I kind of desensitized myself to sex. Like if I, if I got with a guy afterwards, I would be like, he's not going to like me, he's obviously just using me, so why can't I do the same? I won't talk to him again. Um, that didn't happen a lot, but it, there was something in my mind that was telling me, like, these guys don't really like you, they only want you for one thing. And when I went into the show, I kind of just accepted that. And then towards the end, I was like, do you know what? That's not normal. You, I've got to get to know someone, mm -hmm. and that's why I've not fallen in love or found the one yet, because they're not getting to know me as a person and right. maybe if they got to know me as a person and I didn't hold anything back from them then they would fall in love with me and we'd have, live happy ever after and we'd have six kids. <laughs> so talking about that a little bit how important do you think it is to build like a deeper relationship with people before that like kind of the whole concept of the show? I think it's so important because if you rush into a relationship and you kind of don't take the time to understand someone as a person, it could actually um, 
it could damage you a little bit, I think. Mm -hmm. Getting with someone that isn't right for you can really mentally scar you in some ways. Um, that's my experience anyway. I mean, other people's experiences might be different, but for me, it is really important for me to get to know someone before I invest all of my time into them because I wear my heart on my sleeve, as you saw on the show. Um, I'm so loving and so trusting and so like vulnerable in that way. And I, would n I wouldn't change that for the world, but mm -hmm. I just need to be more careful and selective of the guys that I date. Did you have any idea that the show was going to be so big? And like the feedback from Netflix and all of that? <laughs> no, I really didn't, no. Cause oh, my mom, she was like, oh, so what are you gonna do next? And I'm like, well, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I'll tell you what to handle's over now. What else am I gonna do? But um, yeah, I wasn't expecting it to be as big as it was. So when you like went back, you said you started waitressing again and part-time modeling and doing all of that. But what is life like now that it's aired and everything? Like, how is your life? What's it look like now? Um, crazy. <laughs> crazy. I mean, I, I can't describe it. I've just been given so many opportunities and I'm so grateful for them. Mm -hmm. um, but there are quite a few things in the pipeline. So everyone keep your eyes peeled. I am definitely not going off the radar anytime soon. And um, there's so many more things that I want to do and I want to achieve. So just follow the story. I love that. I feel like so many people, you know, there's all of these different shows that pop up. And I think it's amazing when people really take the opportunity and go with it, which is awesome. What you're doing, like all of these things you want to say about reaching out to women that were in your situation and um, just taking the opportunities. It's really awesome. Oh, thank you. And we have so many more questions. Okay, they're all popping up. I don't know if you see the little question thing on your side of the screen. No, I don't. Know. Okay, so they keep, they, they keep showing up, but really fast. Let me look through here real quick. Um, okay, would you go on another dating show? Um... Mm, I don't know. I don't know if I would go on another dating show only because I've kind of learned so much from Too What To Handle mm -hmm. that I wouldn't feel the need to go on another dating show um, unless it was something like Too What To Handle and you kind of learnt from it, then yeah. Yeah, so you get like a re if you don't find love, you get more out of it too. Um, let me see her. Um, let me see. Sorry, they're, they're like flying in. Okay. Who did you make the best connection with? Um, in terms of romantically um, or just... I guess let's just answer both. That They keep asking, like, yeah, who did you make? Because I know that, like, you and Nicole became great friends, but was there any, like, connections, I guess, that we really didn't see? Because we saw some of, like the different ones that maybe didn't work out in your favor and that sort of thing. But was there any really deep connections we missed out on? Um, to be honest, me and Sharon were like, oh, brother and sister. We got on so well. I think, do you know, <laughs> for me, watching Too What To Handle, I was just like, oh my God, Chloe, you did not give these guys a chance. Like <laughs> I go on one date with someone and I'm like, don't like him that way I think it's because I've got such a barrier up and I'm so worried about that guy getting to know me and not liking me I don't like rejection so I'd just rather be like a lad's girl and just kind of be their friend so when I watched that back on on the show I was like I friend zoned Bryce I friend zoned David I friends do you know what I mean and I'm just like oh my god that's why that's why I'm still single <laughs> I, but I feel like you're like every girl that needs like dating advice. You like went through it and now you're like, okay, girls, this is like, don't friend zone everyone. Be open. Know your worth. I mean, it's great advice too. Yeah, definitely. Um, so another thing that people were wondering is like, you guys all looked like fashionable and fun. And like, I'm sure you weren't wearing makeup every day, but like, what all did you get to bring with you? 
Um, to be honest, we literally got given a list of things to bring. So, <laughs> bikinis, um, clothes, shoes. Um, they literally had all all toiletries and shampoos and that all there. Um, and there was like a little drawer in the bathroom, and. I think it was the last day I actually opened the drawer and it had face masks, hair masks. <laughs> and I was like, how did I not find this before? Um, but yeah, we, we just bought like the normal necessities that you'd need. We got fed there, so we didn't need to bring any pot noodles. Yeah, it was like, it's so, it's so, such an interesting concept. And it's really cool that you like were open to signing up for that whole process and just like putting your life, like living in like a whole different world for yeah. a month literally and you don't know what you're walking into you do not know what you're walking into i was the first one in the villa and when i was walking towards the cameras in the villa on my own in my wedges i was thinking please do not fall over because you are literally on t tv right now um and i was just worried because all my insecurities come back and i was like what if they don't like me mm -hmm. what if they're really horrible and then i thought you know what like you've, you've been picked to come here for a reason you're obviously enough so sharon come in and was like chloe and i was like ah <laughs> i was like we're gonna be friends that's awesome and so what were your thoughts like the villa looks amazing like what was it like living there Emotional roller coaster. Yeah, I mean, arguments, tension, um, jealousy. And then you had the happy times, the playful times, um, the laughing moments. And I'm quite upset that not all of it got shown because obviously you can't show a month's worth of filming in a series. Mm -hmm. It's impossible. But um, right. yeah, I absolutely loved it. I'd do it all over again. Good, that was gonna be my last question for you. Would you do this again? Yeah, 100%. And so for people, like you mentioned earlier, that want to, like when they get accepted on the show, but what is your advice if they are like filling out an application to apply? Like, what do you think made you stand out? Again, I just go back to being myself. Mm -hmm. um, if I think you really, yeah, you, I was going to say you touched on it a little bit of how like people try to play a part and like, so maybe some of that. Yeah, they see right through that. Um, they see thousands mm -hmm. of people on a weekly basis when they're casting for TV shows. And if you literally go in there and you're like, hi, like, this is me. And literally they know that if you're being yourself and you're vulnerable, you're going to be better to watch on TV because people can relate to you. Don't pretend to be someone you're not. <laughs> I love that. So Chloe, for people, I know we talked about keeping up with you on your new YouTube channel, um, reaching out uh, like via Instagram and those things. But what, like, what's the best way for people to keep up with you? And I know that you have some things in the works. Maybe you can't tell us everything, but is there anything that you can let us know that you are working on for us to keep up with? The only thing that I can tell you about at the minute is um, my YouTube channel. I am literally working around the clock, filming loads of videos for you all, funny ones, um, yeah. challenges, me and members of the Two Octa Handle cast. So if you go onto my YouTube channel and hit subscribe, then next week, I don't know, this week, what day is it? Is it Sunday? Monday? It's Monday for me. Where, <laughs> where are you at now? Where do you live um, now? So I moved out of my parents. So I'm in, uh, I'm still in Essex yeah okay cool yeah. Yeah, I'm loving it <laughs> yeah well it's really cool there's been so many people on the, like I keep seeing someone that says I'm from Japan and they were saying it's 2 a.m where they are I'm like oh my gosh we got people all over the world in here today oh, oh my word honestly I mean it's crazy because out of all the followers that I have like most of them are from the United States mm -hmm. and the time difference is crazy. And then the second most biggest following that I have is from Brazil. And it's wow. like, oh my God, I love Brazil. I really want to go to Brazil actually. That's really cool. And like, what a cool experience that 
going on the show, you reached people from all over the world. Yeah, I mean, it was crazy. Because when I got told it was going to be aired in 100 and, 192, is it 192 different countries it was shown in? Wow. I didn't know that was there was that many countries. I, that's amazing. I would, so like 192 different countries are talking about you, Chloe. <laughs> mad it's crazy <laughs> no it's awesome I'm just like it's really exciting whenever you talk to people from the show that they're you're just as authentic as you are on the show so we really get to like say oh that's really her like, I think that it's so fun on these lives to see what people are like yeah yeah definitely I mean I think I am glad that I went in there with no game plan because <sighs> On Instagram lives when people see you like I'm just sitting at home at the moment I'm just talking to over alive and you're just getting my personality and obviously when you watch TV you only see the exaggerated version of someone's personality because they're not going to show me on the show sitting on the sofa drinking a cup of tea people just right. don't see that and so many people have said to me Chloe did you eat on the show we never see you on the class <laughs> eat and it's like we ate why would you want to see us eating <laughs> yeah you're like we only have a short time we got to put the exciting like we want to see the drama yeah, you want to see the drama exactly i hope we give you enough drama anyway <laughs> yes i think so well chloe i hope that we can find out soon all the things you have in the works and we will definitely keep up with you and your youtube channel um one thing that we all are requesting is we need some beauty tutorials because your eyebrows and eyelashes are looking great. And so I know a lot of people were like, how does she fill those in? I've got like 12 questions about those, like your makeup right there. Really? <laughs> so there you go. There's an idea for a video for you. That's so sweet. I haven't even got foundation on, you know. I've just put, it's really bad because I put fake tan on my skin, on my face. <laughs> There's your okay. That's literally what I do. Fake tan on your face and then just leave it. Hey, if it works, right? <laughs> Thank um, you so much for taking the time to talk to me. Yes, thank you so much. And um, we will definitely hopefully catch up with you soon when you can talk a little more about your new projects. And we're going to stay tuned because we will make sure to share this too on the sarahscoop.com website and our podcast. So anyone that didn't get to listen to your whole Q&A, we will make sure to share it there. Thank you so nice. much. You were a pleasure and I appreciate it. I will speak to you very soon. See you later. Bye. 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 Thank you so much for listening to another episode of the Sarah Scoop show. Make sure to check back every week for more exclusive interviews and head to sarahscoop.com for more of the scoop.